statistics are really important and they're very sobering. And, um, and just like any other sort of traumatic events, people often are not reporting, just like women don't report when they're assaulted. And, you know, going back to the model, the myth of model minority coined by William Peterson, not only was it a paper that he wrote, but it was intentionally weaponized as a political weapon against black liberation and empowerment. And I think that has become the organizing principles that have guided race relations in this country. And that is the thing that we don't teach ourselves and our children. And as such, silence abound and our ability to understand each other, our appetite absolutely compromised. And then, you know, subjugated communities turn on each other. Why? Because we pick on other people that we know have less political power and capital. That's how white supremacist indoctrination is able to survive and thrive. And so the model minority myth is a really important part of American history and American race history that we absolutely have to interrogate, educate ourselves about, and also be able to bequeath that knowledge and give opportunities for our kids to reimagine a different kind of racial um, relationship in this country.